lately. Yeah. We need to try. Right, I try not to hit the battery, it might fuck it up. God damn. But he eating good. Shit. Shit. She probably been eating bacon. Y'all lusting after the bacon ass. The ham. Honey baked hams. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Okay. Uh, my back, my back is good. Yeah, I should be back in those shit. Elisha saw it and he cried, my father, my father, the chairs of Israel, the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and ripped them in two pieces. Um, let me go back to, let me go there. Oh. Would you about to get that Maccabees? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the... Yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the Lord is called the Lord of Hosts. Well, the Lord of Sabbath Oath, which means the Lord of the armies, okay? So the Lord got, like when, uh, if you read the New Testament, it said the Lord going to return out of the sky with legions of angels, with, with, with all the hosts of an, holy angels. There's a, ho a host of the army. Especially Esau. Oh, well, yeah, because Esau is going, well, Esau is going to try to fight the angels. Like when the angels come out of the sky, they going to send the F-35s at them. And the, you know all the jet fighters, the they gonna be shooting missiles at the angels, and, and the angels is gonna be blocking the missiles with their wings. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they probably be shooting at, shooting at the angels while we're getting beamed up. They gonna try to stop them, and the angels are gonna protect us with their wings. It's gonna be an awesome sight. What's that scripture in the Psalms that said the angels protect us with their wings? Um, I could try to find that. Man. I think it's Psalms 95. Spirit Saint 95, let me look at it. Well, go ahead with what you got. I'll try to find it. This is 2nd Maccabees, 5 and 11. About the same time, Antiochus prepared his second voyage into Egypt. And then it happened that through all the city, for the space almost of 40 days, because you know when they be running the military drills, Esau's army, he run them over 10 day, a week period, you know. That's not nice. Uh, but check this out. Almost of 40 days, there were it. seen horsemen running in the air. <laughs> <laughs> in the air. In clothes of gold. Go oh, so this is bad. This is bad. Because remember, the scriptures say the Lord is the same. What is that? Judas 9 11, where it says, The Lord is the savior of them that are without hope. Mm. So the Lord is, if you would get out again in a battle, we, we ain't going to win no battle by ourselves. It's the Lord that actually sent an angel to help you. It's in an angel on the battlefield. It's like, it, like we are here, got an angel camped around us. Oh yeah, the angels are camped about us. You know? Here we go. For the space of almost, for the space almost of 40 days, there were seen horsemen running in the air in, in clothes of gold <laughs> and armed with lances like a band of soldiers and troops of horsemen in a rain. You've seen the, the the chariot videos, man. It be like, it be like a bunch of them. They all be lined up, man. Be just, they just be rolling, man. In troops of horsemen in array, encountering and running one against another, <laughs> with shaking of shields and multitudes of pikes and drawings of swords and casting of darts, they, they run the drills. <laughs> and glittering of golden ornaments and harness of all sorts. And this went on for over a month. Every day you're watching this for over a month. You know back then, though, you know Esau was terrified, man. Terrified. Yeah, because they try to act like uh, all of a sudden, just in the 1950s, people started seeing UFOs. <laughs> all of a sudden. Like when that faggot dude, uh, the businessman, who was going over the house somewhere and he saw a flying saucer and that's when they saw my that's when the flying saucer turned the flying saucer started. Man, yeah, but when we go back to the slavery days, sure. they were singing Swing Low Sweet Chariot. They were singing uh when she's coming around the mountain when she comes, Jesus will be the driver when she comes. Yeah, right. You know, uh, King Jesus Check will, this out. will be the driver. Check this out. Wherefore every man praying that that apparition might turn to good. So they must have been Oh shit. It must have been a horrible sight, whatever they were doing for that time, man. People were praying like, oh man, don't come down here. 
I remember we read that scripture in that, that New English Bible and it sounded even crazy. Remember that years ago? I wish I had this? That. For real? Yeah, I got should have brought I ain't got it on me though. I remember you brought that out here though. Yeah. I, I still got it out. somewhere. I got that at a thrift store for a dollar. Yeah, these angels ain't man, most high is bad, man. These bro, these bad boys gonna appear one day and they ain't gonna disappear. When they appear, they gonna when they appear and when they appear close up, man, that's when all the hell gonna start. That's when all this hell gonna start. And back then, when all this shit happened, we gonna be out here teaching, man. We might gonna be out here teaching you that uh Israel scattered and you know, the elect, the, you know, we ain't gonna be out here teaching these people that you're an Israelite from this tribe, from that tribe, you uh Teach them up. Don't be eating no motherfucking catfish. You know? Then I tell you, you ain't supposed to be uh, stop being the, the adulterous. Who will be out here doing all that, man? Celebrating Christmas, buying people presents. <laughs> one of my favorite scriptures is Jeremiah 16 and 16. This one, we fishing right now. We fishing. We, fish, we fishing for that special type of fish, too. That bass. <laughs> that oh, bass. I, got, I got it. We ain't looking for carp. We fishing. But when this time comes, man, this fishing going to be done with. It's going to be hunting season. <laughs> Hunting season. What's that, Elmer Fudd? Who's a hunt? Um, hey, Paul, read this. You want to read this? You want to read something? Yeah. Read Psalms 91. That is it, I can't read everything. Oh, uh, read. If you, got, if you got something, read it. Psalms 91? All right, this is just Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord will march forth like a mighty man. He will come out like a warrior, full of fury. He will shout his thundering battle cry. He will crush all of his enemies. What scripture is that? Psalms 42 and 13. This man right there. Yeah. He will say, I have long been silent. Yes, I have restrained myself. But now I will give you the full vent of my fury. Is that, is that a King James? Oh, that's not a King James. I bet it sounded a little different. Here, you use my Bible. I like the King James. I'm a KJV only kind of guy. I have seen, <laughs> I have seen servants of horses there you go, 91. and princes of horses. That's a bad I story. mean, we can still use the other Bibles. Because like we always say, you got to go back to Hebrew and Greek. But I I am a KJV guy. Start from the top. <laughs> but we like us some King James. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So what's the secret place of the Most High? What is faith? You know what faith is? The substance okay. of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Not seen, okay. <laughs> so faith is, if having faith, that's part of the secret place of the Most High. Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. It's a wonderful gift to have. It's a secret. Well, we that's part of the mystery. Just keep going. Oh, yeah, asshole. I think he's cool with his bike. He gonna I get will you. say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. So yeah, we trust in the Most High. Keep going. Oh yeah, actually, you read in the Hebrew, every time it says Lord, it says Yahweh. So in, it's a Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, we trust. Keep going. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the no noisome pestilence. Noise and pestilence, that's those missiles. That's the war, the, the machines of death and destruction. The Lord gonna deliver us from those missiles. Keep going. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. Hey, that's thou shalt... I'll keep going. I'll read that again, my fault. I messed up. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His, his truth shall be like the shield and buckler. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so like we said, let's go back to the angels. When the Lord comes, he going to use the angels to deliver us, okay? And the angels, they going to protect us with their wings. They going to be shooting, the devil going to be trying to fight them, and the angels are going to protect us. Keep going. But they're protecting us right now. Uh, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that be fleeted by day. Terror by night. Terror by night. Yeah, all the zombies that... Uh, the Ebola zombies. Hey man, we can't even describe how terrible it is. Even like, remember the Exodus? When uh, the Lord made it so dark up in Egypt, you couldn't even see your hand in front of your face. Right, right. How do you do that for like so many hours? Yeah. Yeah. Scared the shit out of them Egyptians. Right. Terrible. Get your baby out. So yeah, America, America's the modern day Egypt, and it's gonna suffer 
even worse plagues than Egypt suffered. So get ready for that Exodus movie. You're gonna watch that movie, and, and it just times that destruction by seven, and that's gonna be America's destruction, okay? Uh, keep going. Nor for the pestilence, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at the noonday. Did you say nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness? The pestilence, the walks in the darkness. <laughs> but that goes, <laughs> that's just that's some Ebola zombies. That's crazy. Man. But that's the crazy shit going on, because you know, you know, uh, uh, nighttime is when all the criminals are out robbing people, hurting people, sneaking. The thief only comes like a, like the Lord comes like a thief in the night. Okay, because thieves break and steal in the night. Only because they're cowards. Not too many of them are going to do it in a day. Keep going. A thousand, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at the right hand. That's so that that go, that go back to that Jeremiah, uh, sixteen and sixteen, like you just quoted. Oh, uh, we're gonna be hunters, just just like when King David was on the battlefield, he's fighting thousands was falling by his side, just like when Samson had his power. Sam Samson killed thousands of Palestinians in one day. I mean Palestinian. <laughs> well, they, well, Palestinian come from the word Philistine. Right, right. I right. said Palestinian. <laughs> but the word Palestine come from Philistine. <laughs> he was killing Philistines. Phil <laughs> Philistinians. <laughs> he fucked them Philistines up. Whoop their ass. And the Philistines, they uh, they descend from the Egyptians. Yep. Yep. Same people. They were one of the sons of uh, Mitzrayim. Uh, read that part again. A thousand shall fall at that side, and ten thousand at the right hand, that were, shall not come nigh to thee. Right. Oh, actually, that's actually my fault. See, I'm, I'm going off. See, that's actually talking about the Lord bringing that destruction. Even though we would be going to be killing people too. Because I broke that down wrong. So you got to watch me. I'll be lying to you sometimes. But yeah, because so the Lord going to be bringing that destruction, right? And you're going to see dead people everywhere, but you're going to be safe if you believe in the Most High. But the Lord's still going to give us power. We're going to cause some destruction, too. Don't worry about it. The scriptures say our, our uh, hearts shall meditate terror. Keep going. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yeah, so we're going to see the reward of the wicked. Like, like we said earlier, when we get beamed up, we go, we're going to see that lake of fire. We're going to look down, and we're going to see the destruction, and we're going to sing the song of Moses. We're going to drink wine. We're going to sing the song of Moses. We're probably going to eat some unleavened bread, too. We're going to celebrate. Yeah. You going? I'm going to share the scripture. We're going to drink that wine with the Lord. Yeah. Drink that old 2000 year old one. Yeah, that's like good stuff. Yeah. Ain't gonna be no Carlos Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You're gonna need spiritual power to drink this one. Yep. It ain't gonna be no Irish, uh, red Irish rose. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no MD. <laughs> that fuck, wild Irish rose almost killed me. Fuck that shit. That's what we got. <laughs> yeah. I ain't, oh, that ain't all we got. We got. Yeah, Plenty okay. of other choices. Are you right? <laughs> Fuck You're that right. shit. Right. <laughs> Keep going. That wine I bought last week when we left, man, that shit knocked me the fuck out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was some good shit, man. It was some good shit. It had a dark taste to it, too. Yeah, I like darker stuff. Yeah. I'll go ahead. I'm tired of that sweet taste. So I yeah, I don't like that sweet stuff. But the Lord going... Because the Lord said, you read the Last Supper, he said, I will not taste of this fruit of the vine until I drink it with you anew in the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord, he ready to get a drink in, okay? With his brothers. With his brothers. Yeah. He did say he's our friend too, didn't he? You know, he is our Lord. Don't get it twisted. Don't be looking at the Lord just like he's just your friend and your buddy. <laughs> he is, you know what I'm saying? He is over you. That's right. That's going to be that brotherly love. Man. Right, is that so He's he going to show you love. That's right. When he was on the earth, he showed everybody love. Well, he showed his brother's love. He even showed the demons love, man. Feeding all you demons. 
You ungrateful motherfuckers. He fed your ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Yeah, so yeah, we, so you gotta pray to the most high and keep the most high in your thoughts continually. Like you said, you gotta dwell in the secret place in the most high. In the most high protection, Lord willing. Yeah, he's some, he might still get jacked up too, you know. We're all mortal people. We still get sick, you know what I'm saying? Brothers can still drop dead. That don't mean the Lord just ain't gonna protect you. You can come back reincarnated with spiritual next. powers. Uh, go ahead. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. Let's go back to the angels, okay? He's gonna give angels charge over it. Like I said, What's that? Get uh, get that if you can, or if you what you got? Right on death. Oh, I, I gotta say, in twelve chapter, thirteen chapter. Well, in Matthew the 13th chapter, it tells you how to. Uh, Wait a minute. The I got angel. Matthew's, oh, that's eighteen. Oh, uh, that's close though. What you talking about? You know, the angels of the reapers. Yeah. Okay. Because the angels are going. Uh, Thirteen. They're going to reap us. They're going to sift us. The angels. Yeah, that's just, uh, just like they showed you in that movie, The Knowing. Well, had they had the, the angels coming out the sky, and that they was the one. Uh, Taking people away. <laughs> well, they got that from the Bible, obviously. I'll go ahead. There's a little bit more to that. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep these in all ways. For thou shalt bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Right. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall temple under feet. Oh yeah, so there to go some destruction for you. We're gonna we gonna be doing some destruction. The Lord, the Lord is gonna give us some power. Okay. Yeah. Right, go ahead. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. Oh hey, he has known my name. <laughs> Well, hold up. He said, because, because he hath known my name. <laughs> I got, your boy Nathaniel don't know that scripture, does he? And all these other clowns out there. Oh, the name of the Lord doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I, I better end it on that. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. That's because you called on the name. That's just the same thing as the Romans said. Whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord, the, the Father's name is Jehovah, and the Son's name is Jehoshaphat. That's the name of the Lord. If you coming on any other name, yeah. the Lord ain't dealing with you. And, uh, and you can't, you call him, it ain't like Allah. You know how they say Allah got 90 names or something? 99 names of Allah. The, the scriptures say his name is one. One name. So, this is Isaiah 13 and uh, 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. From the Almighty. Therefore, shall all hands be faint, and <laughs> every man's hearts shall melt. Yeah, all of your hearts is going to melt. Like we said earlier, motherfuckers are literally going to shit themselves. They're going to shit their drawers. When they see that destruction coming, they're going to shit themselves. <laughs> Literally. Some people's whole intestines might fall out. I'm like, these fat bitches? <laughs> intestines just drop out. <laughs> they dump. Dump them. Throw that back up shit. I'm not using wine. I ain't making this up. <laughs> Here comes something. I met a girl. This ain't where we going to go. Hey, no. She told me she didn't take a shit for over a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, because you know a lot of these fat women, they got like 50 pounds of doo-doo stuffed up in their intestines. It's been there for months. I heard some. I don't know if it's true. Cause there's many theories on how Elvis Presley died. Some people, his father said he was assassinated, but well, he might have been. But there was another theory that he died from a uh, clogged up intestine, from a uh, constipation. I mean, too much bacon. 
But that could happen though. You, 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 these people literally walk, they get constipated. They eating all that pork and all that swine. Yeah. And, and it just stays up in their body. Your body's not designed to digest pork flesh, okay? It's not designed to do that. Yeah, you can tell she's backed up too. Yeah, you, you get backed up. Your, uh, your face will get swollen and all red. From all them toxins back Yeah, up. all that shit, all them toxins going through your bloodstream. Yeah. Kill that, you. Yeah, we'll kill you. Kill you slowly. That's just nasty. But just stay air. All, I don't know why she possessed and told me that shit. Man. There's so many fat bitches these days, it's disgusting. Yeah. I was walking out, well, I walked down the street and almost, it's hard to even find a skinny bitch anymore. They all fat as hell. And they just think, just try to imagine. Now, like, see, you pretend you were Superman, you had x ray vision, and you could look at their intestines. And you could see all that dookie just lined up in them intestines. If, if they had shit that, it, it'd be a, if they shit it out, they each have a turd like this long. You get that on camera, like a turd this goddamn long stuck inside of them. And they can't get. They got, yeah, you gotta get a, uh, you gotta get the roto rooter up in there. You get that snake, you know, the snake, the power snake, and stick it up in there. Because actually, it's so bad, like a lot of these women, they actually have to go to the doctor, and the doctor actually has to go up in there with like a snake and pull that dookie out. I used to listen to Howard Stern, and he always had this doctor on there, and he'd always tell him, you gotta take these pills and then get all that dookie out. Because all these fat people, they all stuffed up because they all eat all that swine's flesh. That sounds nasty, it sounds funny. <laughs> especially, especially when you're going to eat a lot of shit that don't have what you call that fiber. Oh, no fiber? Oh, they ain't no for no wheat. Oh, yeah. Plus, they don't drink water. Oh, they drink enough but pop and soda. Fango. Pepsi, liquor, Coke. Liquor. Yeah, drinking liquor, beer. They ain't drinking no good water. Now, you guys should drink water, man. If you, if you drink enough of soda, uh, soda pops all day, that's, that's going to kill your immune system. And it's going to open you up to all those viruses. No, that's funny. It's spirit. Because I noticed that, remember how I told you uh, last week, I got on, I went on a soda binge. And I was getting high from drinking the cola. I felt like I was uh, getting high on cocaine or something. But I noticed after I started drinking all that pop, my throat started hurting. I started getting sick. I've got, I had like a miniature flu. I cut that shit off and I started drinking gallons of water. And started eating a ton of spinach. Yeah, what is it on? Fructose. Yeah, the high fructose. Well, I didn't have no fructose. I got the real sugar. Yeah, well, sugar is. But it's the acid. Yeah. All that acid. It suppresses your immune system. Yeah, it turns your body from an alkaline state to an acidic state. Because. To, to, for, you gotta, to keep your immune system up, you gotta be drinking a lot of water. That's key. And viruses thrive in that city shit. Yeah, so you drinking all pop and beer all day. Yeah. If nothing green. Right, right. It is better to, it's better to drink. You know, I love my beer. I love some beer. But it, like you said, it's better to drink wine than beer. You know? Um, I'll go ahead. Okay. And they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. Uh, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, oh, with wrath and fierce anger. What? That's the Lord is right. fierce and angry? To lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy hey, the sinners thereof. Did you know the Lord is coming with anger? Joe Smith, you see that? Uh, yeah, Joseph Smith is a homosexual. And a liar. He's a liar. A false prophet. Okay. Got the, look, the Mormons, years ago they would talk to us. But the Mormons have been commanded to ignore us. No, they, I'm, I'm serious. They got orders. Do not talk to the Israelites. No, that's bad for business. I was listening to a Mormon uh, 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 teacher on YouTube yesterday. And it, I listen to everything. Cause some of the Mormon guys, they know history. They study too, you know what I mean? But I was, li I was listening trying to prove the Book of Mormon to be true. He failed miserably. 
Hey, yeah, you didn't convince me. You can convince me more that Joseph Smith was a fucking a swindler and a liar. With his golden tablets. <laughs> For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened and going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Now you already, Joel said the same thing. There's numerous scriptures that say that. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed by the Most High, right? God's going to destroy America, y'all. Yes, sir. Y'all are all missile food. Y'all all uh, fuel for the fire. You're going to be burned up, you bunch of devils. Bunch of homosexuals, bunch of devils. Yeah, a bunch of faggots. Yeah, a bunch of bitches. A bunch of bitches. A bunch of limp wristed fucking faggots. See, if we said that to an Israel, they won't fight us. The Esau won't fight nobody. They agree. They're like, oh, yes, I am. You can read us perfectly. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. The Lord is going to punish the world for their evil. Did and you? I will call the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Oh, here goes go some, uh, <laughs> some Muslims. Oh, they covered up, though. Yeah. They covered up, though. No, Allah is the moon god. You want the moon? Oh, yeah. Get, get them um, heathens on camera. Because everybody's talking about uh, America's a great nation. Y'all done been conquered by heathens. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, ain't eh? it? It is. Heathens done took this country over, bro. Great America. This fucking Muslim. Bro. There's so many Muslims out here, you think we's in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> That's a conspiracy. That's a conspiracy. So they bringing all these Muslims and heathens here on purpose to uh, to further di to divide everybody, to keep everybody divided. You know what I mean? And here it is, like I said before, it was you Jakes that built this raggedy ass country up and they giving the fruits of your labor away to all these heathens. <laughs> They coming over here getting a free ride, free college, food stamps, EBT, ta living tax free, all that. You get shit, you get nothing, they get everything. And a little bit of money you made at your job, those taxes you're paying, are uh, paying so a, a Muslim family of five can eat for free. That's right. That's, That's what right. it's for. That's right. Bastard. I will cause the arrogancy of the crowd to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terror. So the Lord gonna lay all this shit low. He's gonna lay it low. What does it mean to lay it low? So that building right, that's a, all these buildings, they gonna get laid low. Oh, you ever play that uh, video game Rampage? <laughs> you played Rampage before? Yeah. The building, the monkeys? yeah, we got the guys doing it. He be beating, destroying them damn buildings, yep. eating the people. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's the best game ever. Yep. <laughs> the Lord gonna, like this uh, Malachi, one says he shall build, but the Most High gonna throw it down. He gonna destroy all this. America is gonna be totally uh, leveled. It's gonna be made desolate. Like, it's gonna be a desolate wilderness. There ain't gonna be a single person left in America. It's gonna be a desert wasteland. It's gonna be incinerating and engulfed by flames of fire. That's what you call the second death. First, the Most High destroyed the uh, earth by water. Now he's gonna destroy it by fire. That's the second death spoken of in Revelation. <laughs> we could talk about destruction all day. I never get tired of it. Never get tired of it. Never get tired. That's like music to my ears. Oh, like we's coming in here on the way up here. We's listening to that Megadeth song on the radio, uh, Symphony of Destruction. <laughs> you heard that song before? Symphony of Destruction. Uh, and it's all talking about how the devil controls the world. He said that like the devil lead the people like a Pied Piper led rats through the street. But that's what the Lord is bringing a symphony of destruction. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, yeah go ahead and read that. Read all the way through. From one, I mean nine all the way down. Might as well. I don't know how it sounds in that Bible. I'm sure it's like you're saying. Oh, no, get the King James. That's the King James. Now, we ain't reading no other Bible. King James only out here. Ezekiel, ninth chapter. Cry, also on my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that 
charged over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. Behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a solder weapon in his hand. The one among them was clothed with lining, with the brighter's equal by his side. They went in and stood beside the brazen holy. Talking about the angels. Keep on. The glory of the God of Israel, which is gone from the shrub. The God of Israel, the cherubim. Whereupon he was to the threshold of the house, and he called to the man clothed with the linen, which had the right inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said him, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon their forehead of the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. Hold on, that, that, yeah, all my folks, the sigh and cry. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. We in the midst of Jerusalem. The Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Because we out here to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? Only, only. only the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's why the Lord said, uh, you must, you gotta teach, you gotta teach the gospel to all nations because our people are scattered amongst all nations. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we ain't gonna be like some people who saying uh, only black people are Israelites. You gotta look like you gotta look like Lester Hayes. Cause I look like a white person. So would I look like saying only black people are Israelites? That'd be dumb as hell. That would make me look stupid as fuck. But yeah, plus you got even the white people who say only white people are Israelites. You know they're full of shit. The Bible said the Lord had hair like wool. Okay. So we ain't out of no simple-minded ass shit out here. And if y'all out there on that simple shit, the Lord gonna kill you, man. We gonna put you to death. But read that part again, 9 and 4. Read that again. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the streets. The midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And set a mark upon the forehead of the man that sighed and cried for all the abominations that have been done in the midst thereof. Now, all the abominations. Like how America was founded upon slavery and genocide. How uh, in America, you, your children do not belong to you. A woman can divorce you at any moment. There's nothing you can do about it. She can go to the courthouse, get you for child support, alimony, take everything that you got. When the Bible says she's supposed to get stoned with stones for being an adulteress. Okay? Party abominations, it's, a, it's, a, it's legal for a woman to commit adultery. There's no punishment. You're allowed to break the Ten Commandments. There is no Sabbath in America. That's an abomination. There is no day of rest. That's proof that this is the United Slaves of America because there is literally no day of rest. It is, it, the, the city does not sleep. The country does not rest. The stores are open every day, seven days a week. I can go to Walmart on a Sunday all the way through Saturday. Every day is open, never closed. Okay, that's wicked and evil. They don't give their own workers no rest. Right. You go up in that bitch at four in the morning, you see a big fat nasty looking bitch in a wheelchair stocking shelf. You just wanna yeah, you just wanna pray the Lord kill that bitch too. You know man. what I'm saying? There's no rest out here. There's nothing sacred. You know what I mean? There's not a damn thing is sacred no more. Because at least they used to have uh raggedy ass Sunday as the Sabbath. They called that the Sabbath. But they did away with that. You know what I mean? Because back in the old days, all the stores was closed on, even though Sunday's not the real Sabbath. The Bible uses a lunar calendar, okay? But uh, there's nothing sacred out here. There's no rest. Bullshit, man. Oh, uh, keep going. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes fear, neither have ye pity. Yeah, so the, the angels of the Lord ain't gonna have no pity on you fools, man. Keep going. Slay utterly old, and young, both maids and little children. So yeah, the, the angel don't give a damn if you a old asshole, a little demon child. They gonna kill you, okay? If you ain't right with the Most High, the angel, those angels of death, the spirits of vengeance, they gonna take you out. Keep going. So the other old and young, both maids and little children and women. Y'all see these little demon children out here too. You gonna tell me they don't deserve to be put to death? 
they deserve to die. Okay? Horrible. And especially all these old hoes you see everywhere, they're the first ones that come against the word of the Lord. They come like, y'all preaching hate. You're teaching hate. You're not teaching Jesus. Shut up, bitch. Watch the angel kill you. Chop your fucking head off. And then we'll praise the most high. These stupid ass bitches got the nerve to lay down with him with a motherfucker. They know he's a piece of garbage, a piece of shit. But they'll lay down and have his seat. So of course they're gonna kill this deep thing, demonic ass too. These, these fools, that a simple minded fool will look at an old lady. She got the gray hair, nice little old lady dress, got the pearl necklace. And, and they'll think, oh yeah, how you doing, ma'am? You know, when here it is, she's an old ass hoe. Because she done had sex with thousands of men not even exaggerating we had a woman come out here she went but in her 50s she told us she sucked five uh no how many dicks five thousand five thousand dicks she, she she had to do a mathematical equation yeah it was funny to, to estimate how many dicks she sucked she said five thousand she said she sucked five thousand dicks and she was only 50 not even 50. Mm -hmm. so oh, just to, just so think how many dicks a 70 year old woman done suck Cause your grandma, chances are your grandma's a hoe, okay? I know the scripture says honor that father and that mother, but we're just a hoe is a hoe, okay? A hoe is a hoe, a hoe. okay? That's why the angel was killing them old hoes, man. You gonna tell me the angel was wrong? I guess the angel, I'm like, it is. Yeah, the angel's going off, huh? That is fun. Please, the angels are without sin. Keep going. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary, then they begin. Begin at, at the, the sanctuary, meaning what? The, fir the first people, the angels started killing with these priests and these preachers in the churches. That's the first, that's why I was going to go down again. That, that happened back in the ancient world. But see, this is going to happen again. When the angels come back, the first people they're coming after to kill. All, all these wicked ass preachers, all these false teachers. Not just the preachers, any any person out here teaching that them falsehoods, them lies. Any kind of spiritual leader or leader, period. That other Jesus doctrine. That other Jesus. <laughs> right. That bullshit. Cause these days you got all different manners of so-called spiritual teachers. Mm -hmm. Like your boy Bobby Hemmett. <laughs> I like all them black unconscious fools. Mm -hmm. Okay? The the angels is coming for you, man. You can't run, outrun an angel. They're going to try to run, too. That's the funny part. <laughs> You're going to try to run from an angel. <laughs> That's going to be real funny. Keep going. All like your boy, Professor Griff. He's going to get it bad. Griff got it coming, okay? <laughs> your boy, David Ike, got it coming, too. Talking all that reptilian shit, man. You got to pay for that. Because he's pretty much a preacher. Yep. A spiritual leader. You know what I mean? They go. And David Ike's an Israelite. I don't give a fuck if y'all disagree or not. I agree. He agrees. We're in agreement. I think most brothers would agree David Ike's, David Ike's an Israelite. Yep. He too smooth with his shit. Okay. Just like Alex Jones is an Israelite. Wow, he's a cracker. Fuck you. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And so we're going to be hunting. The angels are going to be hunting. The angels are going to be leading the way. You know what I mean? Obviously, you can't hide your ship in the most high. Obviously. Okay, obviously. They gonna try. <laughs> I mean, you can hide it from us all you want. We ain't nobody. Okay? Don't worry about us. That's how people think if they please men, they look good in the sight of men, they're okay. That's why you gotta examine yourself. What scripture does that say you gotta examine yourself? Uh... You know what I'm saying? Because you got to make sure that you're right. I'm always checking myself, make sure I'm right. Because I, I be doing, we, we all still sin, you know what I mean? But you got to try not to, your best, to the best of your ability. Let me read this real quick. Uh, 
such a man only fears the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than that of the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Secret parts. So the Lord knows all your deep dark secrets. Deep dark all them skeletons you got in your closet, all the most high knows. All them worn out uh, that, that, covers from your homosexual lover. That weird ass freaky shit you did last night, all the most high knows. When you went out and you got that transvestite, the most high seen that shit. <laughs> hey, joke of the day right here. Well, here's the joke of the day. This is some funny shit. He said joke of the day. <laughs> joke of the day. I don't know, man. I don't know, know if I'm ready Today's for Today's camp joke is... <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it. I'm telling you, this is some funny shit. <laughs> Most I got. Most I like jokes. He invented the joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He invented last year. Here it is. This is 10 TV News. Okay. Two white Ohio women. Oh, I heard this. Sue over sperm from black donor. Yeah, it's a good joke. That's, I gotta read it though. It's the Most High's joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. High played a jo uh, real good joke on these bitches. <laughs> That's what they get for being lesbians. Yeah, right, 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 right. An Ohio woman and her partner have sued a Chicago area sperm bank after she became pregnant with sperm donated by a black man instead of a white man as she intended. Jennifer Cranbrook was five months pregnant and happy with her life in April 2012. She and her partner had married months earlier in New York. Bitch, yeah, that's a part. America's the kingdom of Satan where two women can get married. Mm -hmm. What kind of madness is that? <laughs> and within days of their nuptials, she had became pregnant with a donor sperm at a fertility clinic in, in Canton. That's what you get for going against the Lord, bitch. Cramblet, 36, and her partner, Amanda Zitkin, 29, were so elated that they called Midwest Sperm Bank, LLC, outside Chicago to reserve sperm from the same donor in the hope that Zitkin would someday also have a child. But that's when Cramblet received some disturbing news. <laughs> says a lawyer filed Monday against her Midwest sperm bank in Cook County, Illinois. That's a wicked ass attorney representing her too. Well, what kind of madness is that? You going, there's an actual place that you can go and jack off into a cup and sell your sperm. Mm -hmm. Get paid for jacking off. Only in America. Well, it's all over the world now. They do it everywhere. It's huge here. Yeah, it's huge. Especially after this whole sexual lesbian yeah. uprising. No. Here it is, these women are lesbians, but they still want to get pregnant. Right. What kind of sense does that make? She learned from an employee at the sperm bank that she had been inseminated with sperm from number 330, a black donor, and not number 380, a white donor. She and Zinkin, who are white, had chosen. <laughs> So How she, could she, they make a mistake that was so personal? <laughs> That's such a funny shit. Most I did that to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today's joke. <laughs> yeah, that's some crazy. That's just like when uh, you hear stories about people going to the hospital and uh, the, uh, the doctor uh, cut off someone's testicle when they wasn't supposed to. <laughs> right, that was right. supposed to be the guy, uh, the next room down, that was supposed to get his testicle chopped off. Oh, yeah, shit like that happens all the time. But that's what happens when you would, you deserve some fucked up shit to happen to you, man. Fucking lesbian hoes. What kind of shit is that? How the hell is two bitches supposed to have sex and you finger each other wearing dildos? It's funny how times like you were saying earlier, how the point is so blameless when we get here. These oh, people yeah. gonna continue on with their wickedness, man. They gonna just continue on with this shit. This ain't the time to be doing wickedness, man. This is the time to be getting right. Shit. Your angels are already performing shit right now. Yeah, man. yeah, it's probably that. Probably shit. The angels are the ones who cause them mix-ups. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They, they make your ass get hit by a stray bullet. You know what I mean? Or a baby. All these shootouts in Columbus, Ohio, man. This is the spirit of the Lord coming in, man. That's only the spirit of the Lord, man. All these wicked ass motherfuckers that's normally going on and on and on with their drug dealing, they all get busted now. 
which is a beautiful fucking thing. Oh, oh yeah, them prostitutes too. What's up, thick baby? <laughs> and that's a you better call Tyrone. Mm. That should be mm. good though, don't you? Yeah. Come holler at a brother. Them hoes ain't hollering at nothing. They gonna go holler at motherfucking uh, 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 fucking. What's that? A bacon sauce. Oh, I was talking about a bacon cheeseburger. Oh, they look at the Chihuahua they got at home. They're gonna put banana on their pussy. Peanut butter on their pussy. They have the dog in Them hoes be doing that too. They want you. They want the dog instead. Well, they tell you, you be on the internet. I see it almost every day. I, I don't even mess with it that much more. You know how you be fucking with hoes on different sites? The half the women you see on the internet now, they say no guys, uh, girls only, please. Hey, y'all like animals? Uh, Chinese people, I thought y'all like to eat dogs and stuff. What? Say what? They said she's not Chinese. Oh, you're not Chinese? Can't tell. Korean. Korean. Same goddamn thing, Mozart. <laughs> she look good, though. Shit. She look good. She, she, she might have been a Jake right there. Right there. That's what she is. Big Esau. Whoa! <laughs> big OG dope. Get some motherfuckers. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Andy Griffin, one that worked at the gas station. Uh, uh, Opie? <laughs> Not Opie, uh... <laughs> what, uh... You know what I'm talking about, though, right? <laughs> well, golly! Golly! Uh... <laughs> yeah, he was on the other special, too. He's a fucking transvestite. You didn't know that? Gomer Powell. I forgot, that's right. Go Gomer, Gomer Powell. He's a gay, he, he married a mother, too. Married a too. fucking transvestite. He dresses in drag. Oh, he's a cool right there. Could you imagine? How, that's fucking scary. Oh shit. oh shit. You ain't gonna chop our heads off, are you? Y'all ISIS, y'all down with ISIS. ISIS. Yeah, there is no Allah and there is no prophet named Muhammad. <laughs> That's what they say. When the Muslims come through, they force conversion on you. And you have to say there's no God by Allah and his prophet is Muhammad. If you don't say that, your head's getting chopped off. What kind of shit? What kind of conversion is that, man? Better you, watch out, the bitches could have bombs. Man, they, <laughs> boom! I was talking to a sellout ass here from Jordan today. He was, he was uh, justifying Arab sellouts that they love America, Israel. A lot of them do. What? Because you know, you know the uh, the so-called Jew. A lot of them justify that Islam shit. And no claim is to they worship the same God. Cause they're doing. Like what I was telling you, what, last week we was talking about the the royal the royal family of Saudi Arabia are actually so-called Jews. They're Edomites. Yeah, I was watching uh, some uh, some A Arab conspiracy shit on YouTube, and they got proof. They can prove that the, the line of the royal the Saudi royal family go back to the those fake Jews, those Edomites. So that's how Esau does it. Just like the Queen of England. She's actually an Edomite. She's part of the Rothschild family. The Rothschild have put their uh, seed up in uh, positions of power throughout the earth. They'll have black children. You know what I mean? They'll have actual black Edomites. They'll put in power in African countries. Well, they do it in America. Well, I don't know what the hell Barack Obama, he a Hamite or something. Okay, he ain't no fucking Israelite. I can tell you that. See him try to play basketball. Golf too. Golf. How you golfing all the time? I never even liked golf. If I was president, I would never be golfing. I'd be I'd be blowing shit up. I, I I'd go on a battlefield myself. I'd be like, you know, I would lead I I lead by from the I lead I don't lead in the rear, I lead from the front. What are you guys about? What's up? We about the truth. Oh hey. What's, What's the up, truth? Huh? What's the truth? The Bible? Are you believing the Bible? Oh, bro. So, are you a great American? Yeah. Oh, you all you love America? You know God hates America. Why is that? He going to, do you know the Bible said that America is going to be destroyed by fire? It don't say America is going to be destroyed by fire. Yes, it does. No, it does not. I can prove it. Open the Bible and show me that it's I will show you. Uh, oh, you got it. Read Amos, uh, Amos 9 and 8. Yeah, America wasn't created when the Bible was Where you going? Was written. Well, I right thought you, here. I thought you right say you believe in the Bible, though. I do. So you I don't believe in the real Bible. So you don't believe in prophecy? I believe in the real Bible. What's the real Bible? 
not that America's Bible. Well, that's not the real Bible. That's a fake Bible. the Bible uh, called ancient Rome Babylon but in the book of Revelation because the Bible uses symbolism you know what symbolism you know what is was its own city? why don't you come over here and talk so when you gotta yell now you're a clown read Amos 9 and 8 he's a clown hold over the clown Amos 9 and 8 Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. America is a sinful kingdom. Okay, what is a sin? Being a faggot's a sin. Okay, come in, adultery is a sin. A woman walking around half naked, showing her titties, tattoos on her titties, having abortions, committing adultery, having multiple divorces. That's a sin. Read that again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So America is a sinful kingdom. Okay, so it will be destroyed from off the face of the earth. There's no doubt about that. That's, that's the point. <laughs> and their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Also, the Bible said America is spiritually called Sodom and eat uh, in Egypt. So what's a Sodomite? A Sodomite's a faggot. What did God do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He destroyed it with fire. So America spiritually called the Lord uh, uh, spiritually called America Sodom. But what is sodomy? An act of sodomy is a deuce blowing another dude. Okay, uh, two lesbians grinding against each other. Okay, you got transsexuals walking down the street, men disguised as women. You got homosexuals getting married. Okay, that's blasphemy. Okay, that's sodomy.